dreading going through the kids' clothing. Just can't take it. It's going to be shocking to some. Trash is also tired. No way. I didn't want this to be emotional at all. I'm very sick of giving that example, that bad example to my children. Decluttering happens in layers. I never really understood that statement really until I started decluttering myself. Started my journey in September last year and I got rid of a lot but then I went over it again I got rid of more. I actually filmed part of that first round of decluttering so this is what you're gonna see in this video. She just sneezed because of all the dust that came out of that hole. This is winter clothing. I think what I can see is mostly mine. So I'll just go through it, uh, see what I'll keep, what I'll toss. I thrifted this, but it's not really great quality. Well, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. It's not a really great shape anymore. And the quality is not so good, but I'll see what I have. Um, this is something I will definitely give away. I didn't wear it last year. Um, this I might keep. Um, I want to see if I wear it because I got some different kinds of pants, you know. But the thing is, it just, it just has like a lint on it and like those pills are crazy. It's insane. I'll just give it away. I don't, I can't deal with it because I've lint rolled this thing so many times. Okay, this is a black short sleeve turtleneck which I've had for a year. I'm gonna keep it until it fits me no longer. This is my lilac turtleneck which I love as well. It's incredibly wrinkled. Oh this. Okay. This is my husband's. Just put that to the side. You know what? I I will keep this for now. Um but I'm not really hundred percent sure. right now um and then i'm gonna keep on going i'm gonna keep only the things i really love and i'm really excited about that so i'm gonna quickly after having another sip of my tea um take you through what i decluttered i mean it's not a ton because i actually don't have a ton of clothing i'm dreading going through the kids clothing First off, I'm just gonna quickly take you to everything I'm gonna keep. It's honestly not a lot, but there is already some stuff in my drawers. Um, so it's not like this is all I have. So I'm not super minimal, as in it's not like I only have three sweaters. Um, this I'm gonna keep. Then this one I thrifted last year. I definitely have to use my deep pillar on it because it's not looking cute, but it's actually a really nice sweater. This one I've had for a long time. This is actually a vintage vest, but a couple of buttons are missing two and i know i have them so i have to sew them back on and this i'm still debating it's one of those crop sweaters and um, it's also needs to be depilled and then from this bag i'm also keeping this lilac and turtleneck and the two black ones with the short and long sleeves um that's everything i'm gonna keep i'm gonna show you once it is in the drawers i have some other stuff in there as well so this is a pile of stuff i'm not gonna keep I, um i did decide to get rid of this this one is another burnt orange one but i don't like this detail on the bottom so i don't like that it's too short it's this really kind of more boxy cropped sweater but I don't like the look of it. Same goes for this. It's literally the same crop style. And I got this at thrift store for a euro. At this point, I wasn't really <laughs> aware yet that I don't like this type of sweater. And the other things, this one, this does have a hole in it. Um, but still, I, I also don't really like wearing it anymore. Um, these I'm gonna get rid of. They pill, they look funny when I wear them. These I'm gonna wash, depill, then they're gonna look nice again and take them into consignment. This one is um, definitely gonna go because the quality is just weird and this is gonna go into one of those ones let's put thrift store bye bye so i'm gonna show you my drawers right now what is in there and everything fits just perfectly those are all my sweaters and a couple of like thinner long sleeves um this um, is some of my clothes clothing but it's like not really in good shape anymore as you can see and she has a ton of sweaters and her basket of sweaters is full so this one's gonna go to the 
That's her bag. Um, this one is a unicorn sweater. But the thing is, I thrifted this. But literally a week later, my mother-in-law bought her another unicorn sweater and she has two. So I'm just gonna keep this one. She I'm standing here looking at a gigantic pile of stuff and wondering who in the world would ever need that much clothing. Granted, it's like three sizes. But still, I think I might have a harder time with this than with my own clothing, which is kind of crazy. I feel like I'm more attached to my kids' clothes than my own. <laughs> I kid you not, this is only one size of clothing. I'm gonna sort through this, um, sort it into piles, and I'm um, gonna see what we're gonna keep and what we're not gonna keep. So I've sort of made them into piles, which I know it doesn't look like I did anything, but I did, trust me. Over here is t-shirts, long sleeve jackets, pants, Sweaters, this slash cardigans, sort of casual dresses, church dresses, and then I have a couple piles on the floor as well, which is jumpsuit, which is only one, so that's the keeper. Skirts, shorts. So I divided these into two piles, actually. One is 122, and the other is 122. 128 so these are a little bit bigger um, but if I get rid of all of these then when she hits 128 she's not gonna have any t-shirts to wear I also have to keep in mind she has three pairs of shorts I have to keep in mind that I'm actually gonna keep t-shirts that match with these two <laughs> that would make sense um, this one I'm gonna donate because I have to iron it and it's just a pain in the butt so this one's gonna go this one we're gonna keep because this one is sleeveless this one I'm probably gonna get rid of as this one it's also not really my favorite. This is also one we have to iron. I mean, it's cute, but it's just so much extra work. This one I do have to iron, <laughs> but um, it is just plain white and it fits all her shorts and stuff. So I really, really don't like this, but yeah. Children just have their own funny taste. Actually, she's still in good shape. So these two ones I'm probably gonna get rid of as well. And we still have a lot of t-shirts, so that is more than enough. One, two, three, four, I still have a lot. Six, seven, eight, nine, which is a lot better than 15, isn't it? So these are gonna keep. So here are the long sleeves, um, and she has quite a lot of these. So this one I'm gonna keep for sure. I think this is, oh yeah, this is not plain, but I don't know me like this. And I like these um, to like put them underneath dresses. Like if you have a dress like this, like this one's good too. This one, this one is a little bit more for winter. It's more of a fall. Kind of maybe early spring because it has this collar. This one I'm gonna toss. Nami never wore it, and this is also one of those shirts like it irons and you have to hang it up. This one is nice too, and this one I'm also gonna keep. This one I'm gonna get rid of, and I think Nami hardly ever wore it. One, two, three, four, five of these, which is good. Jackets. Um, so one winter jacket that is fine. One spring, which is fine. Two rain jackets. So I do like this one more than the one with the dots because it's a little bit in a. You know, it's not really in the greatest shape anymore so pairs of long pants she has or they well we have <laughs> one two three four five six so i feel like that's a good number actually maybe i'm gonna get rid of these because some of the hearts are a little bit faded i also have a category <laughs> of skirts and as you can see those types of skirts they have uh, four, and I think there was a fifth one. I can't find that one. I'm not sure where it is, but that one I wanted to declutter anyway, so that is fine. I'm probably just gonna keep two because that's more than enough. I'm gonna keep these two. So we do have 10 sweaters, I already counted, and three cardigans. Cardigans, they do wear a lot to church with like dresses that have short sleeves or sleeveless. But um, when I'm just looking at her church dresses, this red one doesn't really match anything. Probably 10 sweaters, it's not really needed because I do laundry almost every single day they have so many dresses and some of these sweaters they're like pilling not in the greatest condition so this one and this one is gonna go this is more than enough when it comes to winter sweaters as well these are all the casual dresses i still have a whole bunch of church dresses oh, this is just so exhausting i have to say um this one i know i'm gonna get rid of because Naomi never wore it it's one of those Things that my kids are not really into. And these are actually just, oh wait, this one has a stain and it looks like it's curry from my mother-in-law so it's probably not gonna come out. I felt like something was up with that dress when I pulled it out there. I could remember something was with it so that one's gonna go. I know I'm not gonna get that stain out but this one I'm gonna get rid of. I'm not into knitted short sleeve dresses because they look kind of weird with cardigans on top. That's just my opinion. This is everything I decluttered. All of this is gonna go. 
to the thrift store. These are also three trash bags of mostly clothing I decluttered. It's not just those clothes, this as well. So we already got at least four to maybe five trash bags full of stuff. I'm honestly really exhausted right now. My bedroom looks like somebody just pooped clothes all over it. I'm taking away at least four to five trash bags of stuff where I thought honestly that I didn't even have that many clothes anymore. My goal is for myself to just live a more simple life with less stuff. I am actually on my lunch break right now from work, which I work from my bedroom because I have a home office job. Um, I have like 50 minutes left, which is not so much, but I thought I would actually go through some stuff and show you some stuff I've been doing. I actually decluttered some more stuff. I had, still had this, which I'm not going to use anymore. And I have a couple of books that I actually got and will not read. So this is a box I've been meaning to pull out from the hole of doom <laughs> back there with all this stuff. Um, these are like old books and stuff, which I'm just quickly going to throw go through to see what i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep all of these donald duck comics these are actually mine when i was little i mean look at this this is like so old <laughs> this might not be the most flattering perspective but um it'll do this is our mosquito net behind us um we have a lot of mosquitoes here this is like probably one of the few things that i'm glad my mom kept because that's pretty cool i'm already seeing a book here which i don't even remember having and a blight and a blight is like a good author but i don't even remember reading this it doesn't really mean anything to me i don't know if nami's gonna read so this one i'm gonna let go this one actually kept emil and sein detective so um it's actually a german book originally by erich kessner but this is the dutch version i'm do i will let this go because i just found out that so many of these books are in the library and oh look so there's something that we find in the attic i should do have to display this is our wedding album oh we're so small we've been married for 10 years so long ago this one my husband probably wants to keep he really wants to have a rottweiler in the future it's like his dream there's some things in there. Another Rottweiler book, which I just can't take it. But it's not mine to decide. Oh, there's more. Are you kidding me? But it's like my husband's old Bible. It's like so red and beat up. It's crazy. Like he read it to pretty much death. This is empty. Yeah, all those empty ones I'm gonna let go. We don't need those. Oh, this is this he does need because he still wants to get his motorcycle license. These are just photos, so I'm gonna probably later go through these. This is mostly my cookbooks and games. This, as you can see, is decor. And this is, I'm not sure if you can see, but this is decor as well, a bunch of it, and games as well. Just a quick overview of the games I'm gonna get rid of. Basically, it's just, it's three games. So two of them are more for the kids, for Bella, but she's too big for them now, I feel like. This is Carcassonne, which is a really cool game. We really like to play it, but we've really gotten into the Settlers of Catan, which is so much better in our opinion. I'm also gonna get rid of Taboo. Um, it's the English version. We don't really play a lot. We hardly ever have English speaking people over. So I'm gonna be selling that as well. We haven't played this in I don't even remember, like eight years. Um, yeah, I did find this though, which is memory, which my kids have been complaining that they don't have any memory to play, but they do, they do. My cookbooks, this is a Dutch cookbook. I never cooked anything from this. This is a German cookbook, which is actually pretty good, um, but I feel like I can find the same recipes online as well. So I will just get rid of this. Then I got the Jamie in 15 minutes book. Um, this one, I have two recipes that I make from there. Oh yeah, this one, no, this one, not a Caesar salad, I don't know. And I, I have two recipes I usually make from there, so I'll take pictures of them. And the same with this book. This is a really good book, actually, but I don't really ever cook from it. And the Green Kitchen po Cookbook, which is the same. I don't make a lot of the recipes, even though it's it's a really nice cookbook. But I, ju I just don't make it. I'm gonna be getting rid of all of these. And the positive effect of this is that this looks so much better now because there used to be this whole stack of books and now there is even room. I'm gonna still keep these, which I feel still a lot of cookbooks because just seeing how I only cook three times a week, it's more than enough. I'll see in the future. This is everything I'm gonna get rid of. Um, 
slash donate slash sell, which probably most of it is going to be sold. Um, this is only the stuff I'm going to keep. It's going to be shocking to some um, who love collecting vintage, but um, that's okay. That's fine. I understand. I understand the love for vintage, the love for things. I just am a person who can't, I just can't handle a lot of things, I realized. We, like, we rent a hundred square meter garden where we plant vegetables, so I don't need those bags. We can just put sort of this. is kind of messed up. Um, I used to have this as a stand for planter but i don't use this anymore this one i bought i literally had it in i think in the house where we lived before but i don't know i just don't use it. it's beautiful it's teak wood it's from denmark it's absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna be selling it again mm, the same goes for these the really long candles never use them because they were for this one i'm gonna be selling it so i don't have need for skinny candles um like these as well we got these three apples and this. I used to have this out as fall decor. This one I'm gonna be selling all of these brass candlesticks, which I did have out at Christmas at some time at some point, but I have a lot of other things at Christmas. This one as well is actually a pair. Here's the other one. This elephant planter, um, which I also got at the store where I'm selling stuff. Um, this is an extra glass globe for my lamp, but I don't really need it. I don't think I'm ever gonna break another one. Chances are so small that lamp's sold and only I have ever managed to make one. Um, this is a flower frog, but I don't do a cabana. I want to be the person that does it, but I just don't. So I don't see a use for it now. I have this really cool vintage planter and the baby version. Um, this print. Um, this one is gonna go into my booth for plates and stuff, as is this thing. It's a stand to put stuff on so you can see it better. This vase, I have another one I'm using. And this um, hyacinth vase is gonna be sold, and this one as well. And um, these two bookends were supposed to go into my girls' room. I've had them for literally three years. And um, they're still not in a room, so it's time to let them go. And this Ikebana vase is gonna go, yes. Well, this is everything I'm keeping for extra home decor that is not out. I'm not kidding you. This is everything that you cannot see. And this is it for extra home decor. Now I still have to tackle all of this. Mm -hmm. So this is actually it has to go more of my kids' games. This stuff for kid, my kids as well. I'm gonna keep my books. These are, um, I think the only actual classical books that I love that have really influenced me. This Little Women, I know it's so, it's so, <laughs> it's so cliche. Little Women, Wuthering Heights, Pride and Prejudice and Jane Eyre. Love all of these books. Um, these I'm gonna keep because I do have really nice memories attached to them. This plant I just like, I like this little elephant. Um, these were the first things I ever found at a German flea market after we moved to Bremen. These little brass giraffes, I really like them. This is the first vase where my husband said, I like this vase because you usually used to hate all of my vases. <laughs> this I'm gonna get rid of. I think the vase is good as a standalone. Here, I'm not gonna get rid of anything for now. Um, so these are by Walter Glass, which is a West German company. I use them for when we have company over. I still have to see how often I use them, but I like it for now. I might get rid of one of these in the future. I'm still looking for the big round cake platter. And these are um, Dutch dishes, Ambacht Volendam, from the 1960s or 70s. I got this set a while ago, and I think I bought this one later. Now comes the hard thing. I'm gonna get rid of probably almost everything that is in here, which is my be shocking to some people so this head forever i literally don't ever use this this is just for viewing purposes um this is a thermos made in the 1960s or 70s in west germany it's really pretty i don't use it just sitting there um and this as well a tea set which i already have a few to sell but i'm going to be selling this one as well have i ever used this ever no never not one single time so you're gonna go now these you might have seen my video from a very long time ago if you've been a subscriber for a long time these used to be the dishes that I wanted, the dishes I wanted to collect, the dishes I wanted to have, but there is only one problem. I don't use them. I don't ever use them. Except we use these cake plates when we have cake. So this is the only thing we will use um, from this whole set. Those are the Botanica dishes by Villeroy and Boch. And if you just know a little bit about porcelain, you'll know that Villeroy and Boch is a very good brand. But I don't use them. I don't. I know, and I will not because you know what? These are coffee bags, and I tell you that my husband, he refuses to drink coffee from this cup, which I, thinking like a reseller, at this point, kind of like you can't break up a set. But then I was like, 
I like, I like these cape lights. Why can't I just keep them and just sell the rest? Who cares? And I'll tell you that once I find cape plates from the blue um, dishes that I just showed you, I'm gonna get rid of these ones as well. But for now, I'm gonna keep them. These are the shelves that are hanging above our dining room table, or not above, but on the wall behind the dining room table. Uh, I just pulled off a bunch of things and this is what I'm leaving there. This is a bunch of stuff I pulled off. This Carson's vase, this vase, this little guy, this lady here, and this vase, and two prints. And um, I'm gonna leave it like this. I like it better like this personally. I just bought a ton of groceries and I I love grocery shopping, I love cooking, but when it comes to putting them away, it's just something that I really don't enjoy. I'll show you why. Welcome to my pantry. Not something I'm really proud of. I'm gonna be tackling this today. I'm gonna get organized, gonna get rid of stuff. This is actually the closet next to my pantry. Um, this is where the this the dryer and the washing machines underneath. There was a ton of cleaning supplies and some other things that I'm gonna go through. I took these all out there on the floor right now, so I'm gonna go through all of these things first. Um, just in case you're wondering why um, our pantry is that large. As you can see, it's like this and then goes all the way there to the curtain. So in this house, not only my husband and our kids that live here, but also my parents-in-law and one of my husband's sisters. Um, so I can't just get rid of everything. Um, I just have to look at what is mine. And for the cleaning supplies, I also look at what is empty because I just noticed that there are quite a few empty bottles or doubles of the same and I can just put it into one bottle, but I can't just get rid of stuff that just doesn't belong to me these are all the cleaning things on the floor and like it's kind of spreading out through back there and there's some stuff there as well which uh, not all of it is mine actually most of it is not there are a lot of things that i know we do actually use but these are things that i know don't ever get used this is empty this is a bathroom cleaner um and it is pretty much full but i'm just gonna put them in the bathroom so it'll actually get used this I do use. This is pure alcohol. I use that for certain things. This one just got, this is an insect spray that my husband bought last year. Um, I will keep this because last year we had wasps in here. It was crazy. So this is not mine. Um, this is laminate cleaner, but this is the same. So I just emptied this out. So this will go. This is um, mold spray, which we did need for some things in the house. This is really old. We've had that for 10 years. Um, we used to have, in one house, we used to have those little disgusting insects. I don't know what they're called in English. They're really gross, but we don't have them anymore. So I'm going to get rid of this. Um, what is this? Oh, this is um, detergent. That's not mine. This is, this is empty. This we keep. This, like, if you live in the Netherlands, it's like, you have to have this. <laughs> this one's glass cleaner. These I just got in Germany. These are for shoes shine these i literally just got a couple of weeks ago this we have never used i don't know if this is still good i think this is my parents in laws it doesn't look so promising but it's not mine so maybe next time the drain is blocked we'll use it it does look like it's still close like the yeah it does still look good we do, we do need this though this we use all the time because we have really weird um sewage here so the drains got blocked my mother-in-law uses the uses bleach ton this is for a coffee maker i might just put that in the kitchen actually um, this is also window and glass cleaner, but what is this? More laminate stuff. This is not mine. This is also, this. I can put this in one bottle. It's the same stuff. And this is for scrubbing. We do use this. This I do use for my plants. It's a fertilizer. That was fast. This is what we keep. These I use a ton. These are the dust club. This is also laminate cleaner, but I'm gonna get rid of this. This is so old. I got this in our first home like 10 years ago and I dragged it. This is toilet cleaner tabs. We don't need to, I don't think we ever use these. I don't know, maybe I'm just gonna throw some. Here. This I do use for cleaning. Um, I think these two can go. I don't think anybody uses these. 
Ugh. All of the stuff, I've gotten it down to these two baskets and then the bleach, which I, I don't use bleach while cleaning, but my mother-in-law does. For I can put those back, and these are gonna go to more to the front so we can easily reach them. I'm gonna put some stuff there that we don't use a lot, but first I'm gonna go through all the other stuff that is here, so. I think this has never been used really, or maybe not a lot. Um, I think the bags are missing, but I'm not ever gonna use this, I think. No. As we will also get rid of this, this is a cotton candy maker. We've used it maybe four times in the past 10 years and it's just a lot of hassle. So we will get rid of this. So I have a bunch of these like empty uh, cake containers, which I do use every year at Christmas. We make our traditional Christmas cookies. So I will keep these, but I'll put them in the back. This houses our air up pods currently. My kids have air ups. This container I will be reselling in my vintage booth because i don't need it anymore um those are all my baking supplies which i'm gonna keep all of them because i already went through them a while ago we didn't film this there's this other pile here it's a cake carry i'm gonna donate this i hardly ever use this so this is some bird food that we got for free i think my husband's work or something last year but the thing is the birds didn't eat it <laughs> and it just rotted so i'm gonna get rid of this we got some other stuff for the birds which hopefully they will understand how to eat this is interesting <laughs> this is a coffee maker that my husband got my husband he really likes his coffee and he only got this for when we are on vacation and go to airbnbs he is very adamant in keeping this he took that thing all the way to croatia last year from the netherlands to croatia <laughs> I don't drink coffee, by the way. It's literally just his thing. This way, actually, you look for this is a knife sharpener. Um, I think my husband is gonna be thrilled that I found this thing again. Um, I took this out of the kitchen recently. This is my only oven dish. Um, all the other ones we have here, my mother-in-law's, but this is a really good one. Did thrift it, but it's um, a French brand. It's really good. This one I'm gonna keep. So these are the things that go with a coffee maker. I might actually put them in here. Isn't that a good idea? Okay, no, these already have a home. Um, this is my bread, um, what do you call them? Like a bread slicer? Um, these used, this used to be my dad's. Um, I do use it. We do sometimes get bread in Germany, um, and I bake things. I buy things, I don't use it a ton, but I do need it. So this is another bakish thing I have to make a decision about. This is a Cuisinart ice cream maker. <sighs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I use this maybe two or three times in the past 10 years. The thing is, I have also been overwhelmed the past 10 years. I get rid of things quite easily. But I love cooking, I love making food, I love making stuff in the kitchen. So I'm gonna give this maybe like a year max and then I'll see if and how often I use it. If I don't use it at all within the next year, it's gonna go, I'm gonna sell it. Quickly showing you what I put back here. Well, the coffee maker, the bread slicer, which I hardly ever use. Um, and then my tins are in here. And then this. And now I'll just put these in front, which we use all the time. And then this is done, this cabinet. Ta da Much better. Now I'm gonna be emptying out this disaster. And then I'm gonna see what I'll keep and what I'll toss. And I'm probably gonna group them together because I'll be buying baskets. Because I'm a ladybug, I found out. So, first off, this is a K carry. And this I'm also going to be donating. I had no idea from when this was, so this is a nice track. I keep this is a coffee grinder, but I use this to make oatmeal. This is erythritol. Is that how you say it? It's expired in September. So this is a toss. This is a sushi kit that we bought. <sighs> this is like one of those collections. Will we keep it? Will we keep the sushi rice? I'm going to keep the rice. Um, this I'm gonna get rid of. Soy sauce I can't eat anyway. This is, I have no idea what this is. Water, rice, vinegar, trash. You know, I'm gonna make a pile for like rice and grains. This is coconut flour, which I do need to, is it open? I have one that's closed, no, this is closed. Mm, it should still be good because I just bought it this year. Does it say 10 October 2022? No way. Oh shoot. This I know about this is Xanthan gum. 
I, I do use this for quick free baking, black beans a little bit. Uh, just, I know beans don't expire technically, but I guess this solves my problem. I just got two random boxes of juice. I'm gonna give them to my kids this afternoon. This is a pressure cooker, which my husband really wanted. He never used it. I think he used it once in something like three or four years ago. And he also told me already that we can um, get rid of this. This has to go into our bedroom. These are vacuum cleaner bags, but we have the vacuum cleaner upstairs because we have another one downstairs. One potato and trash. These I'm probably gonna get rid of. These are extra for vacuum cleaner, which I haven't, I've never ever used. What is this? Probably coconut flour. Yes. It's probably also expired. It's also expired. This is protein powder. It's expired in 2022. It's mustard, which I'm not gonna use this mustard. I guess I got this last year for a cake. I know it said it, it's not good. It's a player. Okay, let me show you this. I had this basket completely filled with spices, like this, up to the brim, even more. And I just kept the spices that I actually use and that are still good. And <laughs> I kept six, and I have a kitchen drawer with the spices I use the most. And this, these are all gonna go for now um i have all the containers here um it's gonna be different but i have to head to the store i kind of now know how many containers oh. i need to use like stuff to go through this bin i'm probably gonna get rid of a bunch of stuff in here as well i got for my work and it has my name on it and i feel so bad because i lost the lid i have no idea where it is and i'm gonna see if i'm gonna find during this decluttering otherwise i it just doesn't make sense for me to keep it and these are all those like grocery bags that you can reuse but it's so many i don't think i'm gonna keep all of them i need like two or something this is what i'm gonna be donating today 